What is up you guys? It's Katia Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of episode two of trying to discover the best vegan ice cream out there around chocolate, as you can see. So if you haven't seen episode one, click the card above, wherever it might be, and go check that out to see all of those that contended to come to where we are today. So now we have the top four ice creams for their little categories, which we've got Totes Oats for oat milk based, Hakuna Banana for the banana based, Coconut Bliss for coconut based, and the Dark Chocolate Truffle from So Delicious for the singular based. And this one is a cashew milk based. So we are now gonna go, you know, King of the Hill style of this and just go head to head and see who comes out supreme. So, first up, we've got Totes Oats, Hakuna Banana. So, let's pop these baby open. Oh my gosh. Ooh, they just so beautiful. Oh girl. Mm. All right. Super icy. Mmm. But so chocolatey. Mmm. Mm hmm. Very good. Wow. And then Hakuna Banana. Mmm. Also very good. But when you have them side to side, due to the fact that this one has just too much strong banana taste, and over here we're looking for something that's just like chocolatey ice cream. Although it has an icy texture, this wins due to flavor profile. So, Totes Oats wins so far. Mmm. All right. Let's bring up Sue Coconut Bliss. See how Coconut Bliss holds up. Cause, oh man, quite a difference in color. This one's a lot darker. So, let's start over on this side. Oh, that soft ice cream texture. Mmm. 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 Like that to me screams chocolate ice cream. Mmm. In every way possible. With just a slight hint of coconut, which is really nice because chocolate and coconut go very well together. Man, it's honestly tough because the Totes Oats has such a rich chocolate flavor. If only it didn't have that weird iciness to the texture, then it wouldn't be quite as off-putting. Hmm. But, oh my gosh. It's really, really hard. Because ultimately, if you were to go out and buy both of these, I don't think anyone would really mind the fact that this has an icier texture. Like, it's still gonna give you your ice cream fix, so. Oh, this is hard. I'm. Cause look at this texture, it's like perfect, but that tastes way better. I may have to go totes oats. I didn't think I would, but just that tech, that flavor. Now, up against a dark chocolate truffle. That may also be tough because oh, this has got that smooth texture. Mmm. Wow. But now having it comparable to the Totes Oats, I get more of this like cashewy based. Like, not exactly cashew, but you can tell it's based with something other than like milk. Whereas the Totes Oats, you don't really get any alternative taste to it. Hmm. Oh man. But I love the chunks of that, hasn't it? And that's only because it's dark chocolate truffle. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I didn't think it would happen. But I think Totes Oats wins. Chocolate. Now, Coconut Bliss comes like a super, super close second. Like if they had a number rating and this was out of 100, I would give this like a 95 and this would be like a 94. It's like so close behind that. You could go with either or. This is too good 
to not pass up like regardless of this weird icy texture oh my gosh I might finish it today so worth it mm. all right my friends before I fall into a chocolate coma if you enjoy this final round this final episode not the series <laughs> Just for chocolate. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below what flavor we should do next. Because so far we've done vanilla and chocolate. Do you want me to do a separate chocolate? Peanut butter. We could do a mint chocolate chip. Strawberry. I don't know. Name it below. And I will do my best to try to find those flavors. Otherwise, stay strong. Don't eat so much sugar like I just did. And yeah, I love you guys. I'm just going to go knock out for a while. Woo! See ya.